Okay. So I want to, um, I have a string. Let's call this words. And I have in here one, two, three. Okay. So I want to figure out how do I take this string and get an additional word, zero. I want to manipulate it so it gets added right here. So let's make um, an individual word. And we'll say it's the word zero. So how do I get that injected at the beginning of this string? Okay. So the thing that I want to do is I want to take this guy and I want to concatenate my new word onto it. And instead of concatenating it on after it, I want to concatenate it onto the front. So I'm going to take word and add it to words. And let's see it out see what's in there. 0, 1, 2, 3, and you see I, um, I don't have a space in there, so I can either type a space in here, or I can just tack a space in here in the concatenation so it gets added in. Let's see if that looks a little bit better. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if I want to inject something at the beginning, then I just change the order here. So I say, take what you already have in you, add this new thing on the front. What if I want to add it to the end? Same type of idea. Take this, add a space, add the new thing. Here we go. Now the, the last word is at the end. What if I want to inject it in the middle? What if I want it right here? Well, right here is basically at the location of the first space. So what I can do is I can say, take this guy and look for space, okay? It's gonna find the space right here. And I wanna inject this thing into that spot. So the way I have to do that is I have to break this into two pieces. That's the first piece that I've got highlighted there. Here's the second piece, and I gotta stick um, those two pieces around my new thing in the middle. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna say, okay, words is gonna be equal to my first piece, which is the substring from zero. Let's see, where I found this is gonna be position zero, one, two, three. So if I put found here, that's gonna get me the first three letters. Um, that's fine, okay. I'm going to want a space injected um, before I put in my new word. Okay. And then this other space is already going to be in the second half of the word. So the second half of the word is at substra, wherever I found this thing. And I just want it to go to the end so I don't need the second parameter. Let's see if I've got the word in the right spot now. One, zero, two, three, there it is, okay. What if I want it in this next space over here? Well, I gotta find the farthest ahead, basically spot in the word that has a space in it to get this to work. So I'm gonna change this part a little bit. I'm gonna use my usual find loop that's a do while loop that says keep looking so long as you're finding these things. So I'm gonna keep going while this guy is not negative one. So so long as I keep finding spaces, what I wanna do is look for it. Words.find, I'm looking for a space. I wanna start at one play past where I found the last one. Um, remember, if I strategically start this guy at negative one, the first time it'll look for it. It's starting at zero, which is the beginning of the word, so I won't miss any of the first ones. Okay, and I'm going to say, if I found this thing, then let's just save um, a little variable. Let's call this int last space. Uh, I'm going to set it right here. If I found a space, I'm going to set this equal to this thing. And every time it finds a new space, it's going to set this to its current position. My idea is um, I want it to find this last space in this string. Now, there's only two spaces in this string, but what if it was longer? What if it was three, four, five, six? 
and I actually wanted to find the last one. Well, the way this is going to work is going to find this one and save that in here. But then it's going to find this one and save that position in here. Then it's going to find this one and save that position in here. It's going to find this one, save that position in here, and finally find this one and save that position in there. Um, so that's the last thing that's going to be in there before it doesn't find it again. So I know that last space has the spot where my last space is actually located. So I'm just going to come down here and modify this little thing here, and it should inject it in the last space. Let's see if it works. All right, game's not running. Okay. If my computer would get up to speed, that would be great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try it one more time. Oh, stop it. Okay, run again. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Cloud9 does not want to cooperate. Let me just refresh this real quick. Oh, I spelled this wrong. That's going to be a problem. All right, let's try this one more time. It's going to be wrong here too. Great. And wrong here. Coding is fun. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There it is, inserted at the last space, six. So that is how I get something injected at the beginning, at the end, or somewhere in the middle of the string.